Okay, we've got a couple of questions coming in on my favourite topic, the topic of black holes. Jack, do you want to explain what would happen if you got a bit too close to a black hole? Spaghettification. <laughs> um, so gravity is basically set up by how much stuff you have, right? And in a black hole, you have a lot of stuff in a very, very tiny point. Um, so you get this really intense gravitational field. Um, and gravity is, it, you feel the force of gravity more the closer you are. Um, but it also has this very strange effect of changing the way time works. Um, so at the edge of a black hole, you have crazy things happening where gravity is getting stronger the closer you get to it. And also time is kind of slowing down. So essentially you can kind of almost see your feet going off because they're kind of getting pulled off anyway and sheared off. But the time that the light takes to get to your head changes as well. So you get spaghettification, pretty much. Mm -hmm. um, so, so stretched out into a long yeah. thing, thing piece. Because even over, you know, gravity changes on Earth too. You know, gravity at the surface of the Earth is much stronger than you go you know, into space 100 kilometres up. But over the distance of how, how tall we are, the gravity change is pretty minimal. But you get close to a black hole and the gravity change between your feet and your head is enormous. And that's what, what stretches you out. And yeah, and I love the whole time dilation idea, the fact that, and it, it, it is, time for you actually, you feel time the same way, but it all slows down. So you could look back and, and actually kind of see the universe speeding up in a way, seeing, because um, the universe is ticking away at its normal rate. So time, time out there seems yeah. to go faster. And it's, yeah. it isn't actually fully theoretical. We have proven these things. If you, if you put a clock on the surface of the earth, a very, very accurate mm. clock, not just your stopwatch, but if you put a very accurate clock on the surface and stick it up on a space station, just the fact that you're orbiting around the Earth means that time changes, or the passage of time changes slightly for the clock on the ship. And we've done this. We've seen that there is a slight difference in the time measured up in space versus on the Earth. So I know we throw it around, it sounds like science fiction, but it's just science.